subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about some commonly asked questions in CyberArk Level 2 Defender. So let's get started. Question number 1, if a user is a member of more than one group that has authorizations on a safe, by default that user is granted dash. Your options are A. The vault will not allow this situation to occur. B. Only those permissions that exist on the group added to the safe first. C. Only those permissions that exist in all groups to which the user belongs. D. The cumulative permissions of all the groups to which that user belongs. The correct answer is, option B. Question number 2. It is possible to control the hours of the day during which a user may log into the vault. Your options are A. True. B. False. The correct answer is, option A. Question number 3. Vault authorizations may be granted to dash. Choose all that apply. Your options are A. Vault users. B. Vault groups. Sealed app users. Dealed app groups. The correct answer is, option C. Question number 4. What is the purpose of the interval setting in a CPM policy? Your options are A. To control how often the CPM looks for system-initiated CPM work. B. To control how often the CPM looks for user-initiated CPM work. C. To control how long the CPM rests between password changes. D. To control the maximum amount of time the CPM will wait for a password change to complete. The correct answer is, option A. Question number 5, all of your Unix root passwords are stored in the safe Unix root. Dual control is enabled for some of the accounts in that safe. The members of the AD group. Unix admins need to be able to use the show, copy, and connect buttons on those passwords at any time without confirmation. The members of the AD group operation staff need to be able to use the show, copy and connect buttons on those passwords on an emergency basis but only with the approval of a member of operations managers. The members of operations managers never need to be able to use the show, copy or connect buttons themselves. Which safe permissions do you need to grant to operations staff? Choose all that apply. Your options are A. Use accounts B. Retrieve accounts C. List accounts D. Authorize password requests the correct answer is, option A. Question number 6, what is the purpose of the immediate interval setting in a CPM policy? Your options are A. To control how often the CPM looks for system-initiated CPM work. B. To control how often the CPM looks for user-initiated CPM work. C. To control how long the CPM rests between password changes. D. To control the maximum amount of time the CPM will wait for a password change to complete. The correct answer is, option C. Question number 7, which utilities could you use to change debugging levels on the vault without having to restart the vault? Choose all that apply. Your options are A. PAR agent B. Private ARC Server Central Administration C. Edit D. B. Parm.ini in a text editor D. Setup.exe The correct answer is, option A. Question number 8, a logon account can be specified in the master policy. Your options are A. True B. False The correct answer is, option B. Question number 9, for an account attached to a platform that requires dual control based on a master policy exception, how would you configure a group of users to access a password without approval? Your options are A. Create an exception to the master policy to exclude the group from the workflow process. B. Edit the master policy rule and modify the advanced access safe without approval rule to include the group. C. On the safe in which the account is stored grant the group the access safe without audit authorization. D. On the safe in which the account is stored grant the group the access safe without confirmation authorization. The correct answer is, option A. Question number 10, which report provides a list of accounts stored in the vault? 
Your options are A. Privileged Accounts Inventory B. Privileged Accounts Compliance Status C. Entitlement Report D. Activity Log The correct answer is, Option A. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.